Okay, this tutorial is going to use Revit to make a parametric floor slab and a parametric slab edge. So we'll start out in a new project file. And the floor slab is going to be parametric by constraining its boundary to a set of four grid lines. So let's go ahead and make the four grid lines and we can do that by going to the ribbon and choosing grid or typing in the shortcut GR. And Revit wants you to pick a start and an end point. And we're going to create another vertical grid line. And notice I'm moving my cursor and waiting for the blue dash line to show up which will constrain this grid line or actually make a parametric relationship to the first grid line that I made. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll wait again for the blue dash line to show up at the end and you'll notice that Revit makes a parametric relationship and you can see that by these padlocks being locked on. If I hit escape twice and I select one of these grid lines and I drag its end, both of them will move together. Okay, so I have my two vertical grid lines. Let's make the two horizontal grid lines. And now I'm going to create my floor slab and I'm going to use a rectangle. And I want to constrain the boundary of the floor slab to the four grid lines that I created. So I'm going to click on or lock all four of these padlocks to create the constraints. And now I can click on the green check mark. And if I select any one of these grid lines and I move them, the slab boundary will move with it. Okay, so our slab is working parametrically. I'm going to go to my 3D view just to see the slab in 3D. I'm going to click on the shortcut. And using my shift key and holding down the wheel, I can orbit. And I'm going to add a floor slab edge by going to the ribbon clicking on the down arrow for floor and choose slab edge and I'm going to apply it to one side for now and I'm just going to use the bottom edge okay I have some controls I can flip this slab outward I can slip this slab edge inward. I can flip it up, which puts it inside the slab, and I'll, I'll get an error when I do that. I hit escape a couple times just to exit out of that. So what I want to do now is go through and make a parametric slab edge. And this slab edge is made as a family, as a profile family. So I'll go to the big R and I'll go to new family and I'm going to scroll down and find profile okay what I want to first define is the profile usage which by default is generic and I will change that to slab edge and we'll keep this slab edge simple by making a rectangle. To do that, from the ribbon, I'll click on line, and from the draw panel, I'll choose rectangle. And I'm going to just draw a rectangle. I'm not worried about its size. And I'll hit escape a couple times. So I want this to be a parametric profile, meaning 
I can change, in this case, its width and its height. So let's start with the width. I'll click on the vertical boundary line, and that gives me my width dimension. I'm going to make that dimension permanent by clicking on the temporary dimension symbol. That dimension now becomes permanent. I'm going to select it, and from the options bar under the ribbon, it says label. I'm going to click the down arrow and add a parameter. I'm going to call this parameter width. And I'm going to do the same thing for the height. I'll select the horizontal boundary, make the temporary dimension permanent, select the dimension, and add a parameter. This one I'll call height. Okay, so I want to flex this rectangle or test these parameters, and I'll do that by clicking on the Family Types button. And I'm going to change the width to 6 inches, and I'll also change the height to 6 inches. And I'll click Apply, and I'll see that that's working. I'll try it again. I'll make it 2 feet by 2 feet and I'll click apply okay so that's our parametric slab edge and I'm going to keep that at six inches by six inches for now and I'm going to load that into my project where the floor slab is I'll go to the 3d view I'm going to select the slab edge that already exists from the properties panel I'll click on edit type and I'm gonna make a new type so I'll choose duplicate I'm gonna name this one slab edge rectangle I'm gonna change the profile to the one that I just made and click OK and here we see the rectangular slab edge now I want to move it up so that it's aligned with the top of the slab and when I click on the flip it doesn't allow me to do that it just flips it about this point here so what I'll do in order to align it to the top is from the properties panel I'll change the vertical profile offset to 6 inches. Click apply. And now that slab edge is aligned with the top of the slab. And the last thing I'll do is I'll add it to the remaining three sides of the slab by clicking on add remove segments from the ribbon. And since I started by selecting the bottom edge of this side of the slab, I'm going to keep selecting the bottom edges as I orbit around and select the remaining three sides. 